our residential area is at Duran Tunggal, Melaka and at here, one of the main reasons that cause the pollution is plastic waste problem. This issue is related to Sustainable Development Goals 12 that is Responsible Consumption and Production. As you can see, there are many plastic waste that are being through by irresponsible residents around my residential areas. These sample pictures that we have shown are only a part of all the plastic waste at Duran Tunggal. Many scientists from all around the world have warned us on how the plastic waste is destroying our environment. Therefore, we need to find the solutions. After a single use of plastic bag, we as a responsible person should throw it into the bin or designated area. However, there are some ignorant people who are doing the opposite of it. They will throw all the plastic waste like plastic bag and bottles at the street. They even throw it into the drain and this causes the drain to be clogged with all the rubbish. During the heavy rain, it causes flood in my residential area. Due to this, it will lead to spreading of disease to our residential area. Plastic is a tough waste to dispose of. For engineering solution, one potential solution to the plastic waste problem is to employ plant-based hydro-biodegradable plastic such as polylactic acid PLA, which decompose into water and carbon dioxide in 47 to 90 days at high temperatures in a composting facility. PLA is created from dectose which is commonly sourced from maize and it requires 65% less fossil fuel and produces 80 to 90% fewer greenhouse gas than petroleum based plastic. This material also can reduce the cost of plastic production in addition to reducing the risk of pollution from conventional plastic made from petroleum based polymers. Next, for the non engineering solution, the government needs to organize a campaign. In the campaign, the government can focus on practicing recycling. We can practice recycling by isolating the composition of solid waste. Separation of solid waste at source is the process of separating solid waste produced at source according to the composition of solid waste, namely paper, plastic, and other recycled material like plus ceramic and aluminium and residual waste such as food waste and disposable diapers this solid waste segregation aims to reduce the amount of solid waste sent to landfill next facilitate the process of solid waste management and treatment household waste segregation and three r practice have also been identified as two of most effective measures the issue is our level of hyperconsumption is too high. The wise step taken today do not directly benefit us, but they do allow future generations to enjoy the resources we have so far. The issue of high risk waste disposal, particularly in the spread of dengue and other cases, can be resolved with proper management. The approach of government policy that ensures the area environment must be lifted and the community must become an implementer in addressing the issue of garbage disposal. May our society mind be aligned with the efficiency of national infrastructure management, which is recognized as first-rate infrastructure.